All right, let's hit it. Welcome to another Road to the Apocalypse. Super excited today. Why? Well, let's find out. So again, we're deadlinger.com. Roadmap there on the front page. We're here because, oh yeah, this, this is my favorite. Uh, we're doing survivor gameplay, talking about some different things. We've covered health, we covered inventory, hunger, infection, ranged combat, melee combat. And today is gathering wood, campfires, and camp, let's say camping, campfires and cooking. Oh, I'm so excited to talk about cooking. This, mo mostly it's the eating part, but the cooking... No, this is fun. I'll tell you, I've probably have mentioned this before, but I like repeating myself because I enjoy these little talks that we have. One of my favorite experiences I ever had in a game was in Ultima Online when that first came out. And I remember someone, you know, kind of learning some things and someone said, well, you know, you take your dagger and, you know, or an axe, dagger worked at the time, and you could cut some wood from a tree, like get some kindling, essentially. And then uh, with your fire building skill that you had to build up, you'd start a campfire. Okay, cool. Then you'd go kill an animal, skin it up, take the meat, and cook it on the fire. Or if you went fishing, cooked the fish and you got fish cakes, cooked the meat, you got you know cooked meat in your backpack. And I just thought that was the coolest thing. I was like, my gosh. Look at how detailed this game is. I'm getting kindling, making a fire, and I'm cooking meat. The rest of the game I had a lot of issues with, but that has stuck with me forever. And anytime I look at a game that says it's like a survival game or you know, an MMO that has crafting and different things, one of those elements that I'm missing is the fact that you just make a campfire out in the wilderness and cook some food on it. N and I'm surprised not many games have that. There are a few. I mean, like the really deep sandbox type, like there's Mobby Nogi Online, but you know, I don't play that one. But someone told me you can do that in it, make a campfire. So I'm sure there are more, but it's pretty rare. Like I don't even remember really doing that level of detail in EverQuest. And that was a pretty deep game. So anyhow, as these survival games start coming out, you know, they're... I've really looked a lot on the internet for survival games, and I found like old Nintendo games and just that had those abilities, but like nothing kind of really with modern graphics and set settings and stuff like that. So then you look at all these zombie games coming out, and bam, here it is in the roadmap. Because when I first started playing the Dead Linger, before I even looked at the roadmap, I was like, man, you know, this game could really use this. I'm going to go and suggest that. But here it is, I'm in the roadmap, and look. Gathering wood, campfires, and cooking. And because I joined in build 12, build 11 was into the woods. And into the woods, they brought that for me. So I didn't have to suggest it. It's there. You can chop down your tree, get the wood, combine it, set it on the ground. If you got some matches, you can create a fire. Now, what I would like, though, as they develop like an exper uh, experience point system and, and some kind of skill system, is that um, you could make fire with no matches, you know, because old cavemen used to just take two sticks and rub them together. But currently I'm okay with that because matches are pretty plentiful. It's not that big of a deal. You can get an axe pretty easy, whether it's a hatchet or eventually a fireman's axe. But it's there. I'm chopping a tree. And in, in one of my videos you get to watch, uh, I hope, <laughs> coming up I think it's one of them, I actually get to shoot the deer, skin it for the meat. It took me a while to figure out how to cut the meat. I don't know why. But I got the meat. I took it back to the fire. Oh, I did it on a live stream. That's where it was. I have yet to do it on the recorded show. But I did it on a live stream. I was so excited. And like my one, <laughs> my one good friend who watches the live stream got to see me finally do that and succeed. And cut the meat, cook the meat, and now I have meat in the backpack. That was awesome. Okay, so that's why I'm so excited because that, I don't know why, it's one of the most basic things you can do, but I love it. Like seven days to die, I can't do it. You can make a forge and stuff and, and you cook by sticking stuff in ovens, but I'm like, well, the oven should be no electricity. I can't just, uh, 
you can. We just haven't really figured out how to do all the fire pit and cooking and stuff. I guess you can. Never mind. Terrible example. But I think what threw me off was the fact they had ovens and you cook in the oven. But dead linger, there's no electricity. So, bam, you got to make the fire. I'm so happy. So, let's take a look at how they have it set up. So, it's 40% done. Uh, they got the chopping down the trees. They got the gathering wood. Let me tell you why I don't like the way they chop down trees. It is cool that you can walk up to a tree and chop it with your axe. My son watched it and he said, that is so stupid. Why does it turn into a tiny skinny tree and like kind of just fall straight down and some blocks pop out of wood? Because that's the way the engine works. Would it be cool if the tree just fell over and, and didn't have to do what they do? Sure. But, uh, you know, there's nothing saying they can't improve the way the tree chopping animation looks when they do it. So, yeah, that's kind of a drawback. But it's still there. Uh, you, you chop down those wood, use to craft items, which currently they have working. You know, you can make your 2 by 4s then combine that into plywood. Uh, it'll be interesting to see more things that you can make with the wood. The creating campfires is there for light. Uh, the only drawback to campfires, because we're talking campfires, there is an issue that uh, you know is currently known, where you can build a fire in a home and the light just radiates out through the walls and everything can see you and come running, and is terrible because the zombies will come. I mean, you know, it's the zombies currently no biggie, you just kill them. But you know that that doesn't feel very realistic yet. But I, th I think that is a known issue that I've read or heard multiple times. So it's not like I'm pointing anything new out. So they have the campfire part. And what would be interesting is if uh, the, the campfires actually burn stuff. But I think that might be going beyond the scope of the game. Because currently, I can make campfires in the top of a wood cabin and nothing happens. So... My guy must be really good at separating the wood fire from the rest of the building. <laughs> so, you know, you might say, that's not realistic. Uh, they do, some of the buildings have fireplaces. Actually, I think so far I've only seen a fireplace in the farmhouse. And it would be neat if, if you could actually have a custom fire animation for using the chimney. That would be kind of cool. That would be neat. Because if you do try to put the fire pit right there in front of the fireplace is just this big old stack of logs and they don't work together but it's there it's very cool so campfires are there it does provide light it does cook and it would be interesting to see as you can make more and more items uh i haven't i don't know if you can cook bananas and apples and things like that i haven't tried yet because I, I just the one time was happy to find and kill a buck and get my venison and skin it and get the meat and cook it uh, so I have not tried anything else yet, corn or anything. Uh, let's see. So stopping to cook food will satiate your hunger in a way that raw food never could. And I think probably in the future as well, too, the cooking the food will be part of, say, their, like, uh, I won't say infection, but obviously, like, uh, tainted or, you know, the meat comes with its own diseases and things. And if you eat raw meat, maybe your infection level could go up a little bit. So yeah, it fills you up a bit, keeps you from dying of hunger, but has the risks of giving infection. Whereas if you cook the meat, no infection, and then you know fills you up better, kind of a morale thing. So it'll be interesting to see how they implement more types of food, especially when it says cooking. Even though it's the, the apocalypse, uh, you know, it would be cool if you could make berry pies, banana pies, you know, just comfort type foods. That might sound really strange, but I got to keep thinking back to Zombie Land, and you know, Tallahassee had to have his Twinkies. Well, it would be cool if we could make some kind of, of comfort thing, and you know, that's the thing. I got to make my blueberry pie. So. Yeah, I'm very excited for the gathering wood, the campfires, and cooking. It's 40%. It feels like there is so much more that they could do beyond when they hit 100%. 
that I'm really excited to see where this is going to go. So currently as it stands at 40%, they're gathering wood, campfires, and cooking works and is functional and really beyond here other than maybe you know tweaking stats and some different things the system works so this is one that really is just going to have to wait for it to expand so i'm very happy with the current system that they have other than the light being given off from campfires radiates beyond the boundaries of the walls of a house uh, it will be nice to see when they make the walls solid as far as light and the light only comes through the windows and the zombie actually has to physically see the light coming through the window to come to you. Because right now, it's like I said, it's just a beacon. So if they can fix that with the light, then they've got a phenomenal beginning that is just going to grow and grow. And I think become a very popular feature in the game. I hope. Because <laughs> I really want to see some banana pies and berry pies and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, check it out. Uh, and, and as you watch some of my videos, you'll see me chopping woods and eventually making some fires and different things. And hopefully on the recorded video, not a live uh, stream, I'll actually be able to get an animal and cook it. I haven't seen rabbits yet. So yeah, as they add more animals, that will be fun to see if you can you know, skin them as well and how much meat you get. All right. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I really appreciate some of the comments and feedback I got. I had a comment today that I... I don't th I think I may have seen, but just overlooked it. Uh, it was pointed out to me, though, like as far as when you do activities, and we've talked about achievements. Steam has currently 237 achievements for the Dead Linger on Steam. And you can actually go and view those 237 achievements. <clears throat> it doesn't tell you like specifically all the requirements and how you get it or what all entails, uh, but... And I don't even know if I really have any. I have a lot that have names but no icons. And I have a few that have names with icons. So I don't know if that's just waiting for more icons. Or if I have the icon, that means I earned it. But it really makes me want to go out and kill and cook and skin stuff to see if I get some kind of cooking achievement. And then it makes me also want to pick up, since we talked about melee weapons yesterday, it makes me want to go and grab frying pans and hockey sticks and, you know anything that I could maybe bash and kill a zombie with and see if I can get an achievement for using off the wall melee weapons so yeah thanks for all the comments and, and sharing your thoughts and ideas with me uh, but I think that will wrap it up for today thank you so much for checking things out I'll see you next time